Hi y'all, it's Beth here. Happy Wednesday. I am so excited to be able to share this video with you guys. This is a what I have been melting and yeah, um, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Um, and yeah, there's tons of fun stuff to talk about. We're going to start off with a candle empty, which is a very exciting. This is in the scent Merry Cookie from Bath and Body Works. I did put it in the candle crock around the halfway point. I did not want it to get to start smelling mucky or anything like that. This one, the notes are fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. And this is just such a wonderful scent. I really like this one and I definitely will repurchase it again for next year. It is amazing. Another candle that I'm currently working on, it's not an empty, um, but I it's like close because it is living out the rest of its life in the candle crock as well. This one is in the scent Hot Cocoa and Cream. It just got, you know, some, I wouldn't say puny wicks, but just like the flames were not high at all, but the wicks still look like a great, nice length. So I'm not sure why the flames kept on like, you know, just not producing enough flames to like pull it out all the way and make a nice scent. So this one is living out the rest of its life in the candle crock. It's so amazing. I love this scent. It's decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. And this is a repeat purchase for me. I will always pick up uh, cocoa and cream um, anytime that I see it and it's on sale or that I'm in need of one. It's just an amazing scent. Um, and then a Christmas one that I've had actually since 2019. So that's why I'm still trying to get it used up. Um, and hopefully I'm going to be able to use it up like, you know, before next Christmas. <laughs> this is in the scent Tis the Season, which I really love this scent. I love the packaging. The year that I bought it, my theme for like my gift wrapping and everything was gold and plaid very classic and you know just I really liked doing that theme for my gift wrapping I definitely would do it again but this one it matched with that theme and so I just had it sitting out that Christmas and didn't want to burn it or anything and then as the years went by I was like I don't want to burn that one what if I do that plaid and gold theme again but it's, you know, it's lived a tough life. It's gone through a couple of moves with me. You can see there's like scratching and stuff along the label. So, um, you know, it's just time to use it. The notes are rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. This is such a nice apple scent for the holidays or really just for any time. I'm not... um like opposed to melting off season wax i'm not one of those people that you know cannot handle doing that but yeah i have been trying to be more seasonal in my wax melting i guess uh as of like last year or so so i definitely am going to enjoy that one but definitely ready to move on from it and you know have some other different scents and then the last candle that I have to share with you guys, this one I'm afraid is going to have to go in the candle crock soon, but it's so good. I really don't want to, you know, put it in the candle crock any sooner than I have to. This one is in the scent Raspberry Thumbprint, and I picked it up from Candle Day. This one is buttery shortbread, rich raspberry jam sprinkled with powdered sugar, and you can just see the wax is getting very discolored. Uh, you can tell like from looking at the side, that part is a lot darker than that part of wax. So it started to get that mucky smell. I feel like maybe one more burn and then after that I should put it in the candle crock for the rest of its time here. And then last but not least, we will talk about the wax melts. And I have quite a few to share with you. And they all, you guys, are honestly winners. Like, 
I have not melted a single wax this little short time period of time that I've been melting these wax melts for um, that I have not enjoyed. These have all been winners and very great scents in my personal opinion. This first one is Empty from Rose Girls and it is in Koopa's Christmas Carols. And the notes for this one are soft pine, sugar cookies, snow powder mint, and campfire marshmallow. This is such a nice minty scent. I ended up putting it in an empty candle jar and putting it in my candle crock um, to enjoy downstairs at nighttime. Um, it's just very relaxing, very nice. This is part of the Mario collection of Rose Girls and I definitely will be repurchasing this the next time that she has her Mario collection available because it is amazing. And then another wax empty that I have, this one is from Scentsy in the scent Rum Raisin Cookie. And I love this one. It just smells so, so good and amazing. It's like very fall, cold weather fall winter type of scent um it's so good I really enjoyed it and I'm pretty sure I had this going in one room one part of the house and then tis the season going in the other part of the house and it was so divine just walking through all all through the downstairs of the house just smelled amazing so I definitely would repurchase that one and it's part of my club it was a bring back my bar and it's not currently available so but it is in my club and i will be keeping it there for the foreseeable future it is amazing um the next one that i have this one is pineapple and royal sugar cookies from rose girls this one i melted once it doesn't last overly long but it smells very good um, I definitely am going to appreciate it while I have it and then I'll decide whether or not to repurchase it. But it's a great, it has a great strength and throw, but just the amount of time that it actually produces fragrance for is, you know, mm, not really the greatest, but that's okay with me, you know. Um, then the next one. This one is L3 Waxy Wonders in a Bitty Betty Loaf. This is in the scent Pocket Full of Sunshine. And the notes are Starfruit, Honeydew, and Lemonade. This was such a good fruity scent. It only lasted about a day. Um, but it also is over a year old. It's from December of 2022. So it's past its one year mark. Um... I know L3 Rexy Wonders is planning on going out of business in September. I'm technically on a wax no buy until July, but I did cave and purchase uh, from a friend of mine here on YouTube, Ashley Nicole. She like sells her Scentsy stuff in her stash because she is a Scentsy consultant and she did have three bars of sweet plum pastry available that I just could not pass up. So I ended up making a purchase from her. Um, and of course, if I was gonna get sweet plum pastry, I also picked up, you know, a bunch of other scents too. Um, if I was gonna break my wax no buy, I was gonna go big or go home, you know? So anyways, I'm totally on the fence about what to do with L3. I really want to start purchasing like my favorites from her when she has them available because once she's out of oils like for a scent then that's it she's done she's not going to order more oils for to make a new scent which I totally you know understand because she's trying to get rid of her inventory and stuff um and yeah so this is one that if it was available again I would definitely repurchase it um just to have it like one more time um before it's all said and done and then the other three scents here that i have are from the april wax challenge which i have my melting basket for the first 15 days of april based on the wax melt challenge by patricia um nose to toes i think 
is her um, channel name on YouTube. Um, Patricia Gates is her name. And um, yeah, so these match with the prompts. So April 1st, I warmed strawberry seeds. This one is actually still going in the downstairs part of my house because I can only warm it when my mom is not here. She does not like it. So she shared that with me when I had it going and turned all the warmers off. So this one is sweet and zesty strawberry and I have this going in part of my downstairs. Today is technically April 3rd and I still have it going, but that's because I just don't want to empty it out of my warmers before the scent is gone. My mom doesn't like this one, but I really love it. I'm getting strong performance from it. It smells nice and fruity and juicy and sweet. And I really am glad that I gave this one a try and melted it. I definitely would repurchase it and continue to melt it while my mom is not around. And then for melting a blue wax, I put this one in an empty candle jar in a candle crock. This one is in the scent Blue Grotto from Scentsy. Yes, it is from July of 2022, and I have only melted one and a half cubes. That's what's currently in my candle crock. So I need to up the ante on getting through this Blue Grotto. I also know that I have three bars of Blue Grotto in my stash as well. But I want to get through this brick first. It's older than the bars. So very excited and happy for that one. And hopefully I'll continue to pull from it like and warm stuff from it um, throughout the month of April and finish it over this spring summer. And then the last thing that I have to share with you is the melt for today, April 3rd. This one is Angel Experiment 624. And I have two cubes going. This one is nice. It's fruity, but it also has a bit of like just a smidge of perfuminess that I'm getting from it that I'm not really a fan of the perfumey note. Um, but this scent is good. It's performing well. It's mostly fruity, just like a, a touch of that perfume note um, that I'm picking up from it. And I would repurchase this one if it was like on clearance or something like that. But if they bring it back at $7 a bar, which I think is how much they're selling their Disney ones for and their licensed ones for at this point, then no, I would not pay $7 for this. Um, but I would get it if it was in the clearance section. I would pick up one or two just because it's a nice scent and, you know, the packaging's cute um Disney is so much fun and yeah so y'all that is everything thank you so much for watching I will see you next time and as always make sure you stay positive till then bye